there are these beings, right? A blue light, cosmic light radiating brighter than the sun. Honestly, this celestial being, that's what I call them, right? These are celestial beings. These are not aliens. These are not UFOs, right? This isn't anything that has to do with Hollywood. We got to get away from the programming. Now, what I'm about to talk about, honestly, is not for everybody, right? And I understand if your ego gets a little triggered, right, with the idea that there is only just physical beings or aliens or things like obviously we are not alone <laughs> in this multiverse right there's a reason why through hollywood you know like the avengers movies and certain things have been playing out talking about different galaxies getting us around the idea to handle that there are aliens that there are celestial beings that there are other things that are not human that we can actually work with hand in hand right now, i don't know about you now I've had these experiences myself, personal experiences of these beings of blue light, right? Some people like to call them the Palladians from the Pallades galaxy, right? The Syrians from the Ceres galaxy. How about Andromeda, right? Then the Andromedans. Think about this. The Milky Way is not just the only galaxy out there with life. Right? This is obvious. Now NASA, the science, quote unquote, right, is gonna continue to play their narrative out and keep people in control because honestly this information is not for everybody and when you really start thinking outside your box and you start piercing through that veil of illusion and you start understanding that you are not this physical body that you are not just your thoughts you are so much more than this right you are the infinite cup now when you start expanding your consciousness more and more right what you're doing is you're sending out a beacon right to this multiverse it's gonna ripple out <laughs> the light <laughs> you see is infinite you know at the speed of light it ripples out to all energy all sentient beings right they can contact this they understand that language the light language now here we are on our timeline right on this ascension this path that we call human life and this earth school right is about unconditional love now make no mistake that this is very important i'm not saying that you know you're just this soul you need the human body right i need this ego i need to be robert to communicate with this you know message to all of you beautiful souls right here at the infinite cup i need to do this this is my purpose this is my dharma right i need to do this however we are being guided right now i don't know if you can see this picture here but what's happening right now is a collective force right if you're watching on youtube you can see this beautiful picture i'm holding up of all the ancient traditions right all the ascended masters right are holding the space for this beautiful light for this earth that's what this is this earth is light everything is light everything is energy right so it's being protected now these forces these blue beings are one of them right one of these assemblies right that are here to bring us the light, to bring us higher consciousness, to bring us more law, <laughs> more knowledge and get us away from the darkness. Now, your 3D mind, your Western mind will probably create some fear based scenario and say, hey, they're here to harm me. They're here to do this. They're here to do that because mankind fears unknown. That's what we do. We fear the unknown. We don't know what to expect. So we automatically create some fear based scenario in our mind in order to keep us in survival mode. Right. That's it. And I know all of us have experienced that because remember, again, that's not you. Those thoughts and that ego consciousness, that's not you. You are so much more than that. And these beings of blue light, the Palladians, whatever you want to call them, okay? They are here to guide us into this higher consciousness. They are here to bring us out of this current corruption and greed and power struggles that we've been in for a very long time. Now, for those listening, I'm not talking about, you know, just plant medicine and like, hallucinating or, or anything like that. No, I'm talking about direct sober experiences, right? That are completely magical, completely mystical that will take over whatever sense of quote unquote normal that you think you have in your normal everyday life, right? Because remember these celestial beings are in a higher dimensional consciousness, meaning they can perceive beyond 3d, beyond our physical material world. And they know what's happening beyond time, beyond space. They know what's happening beyond all of these things. They already know the outcome. Therefore they're trying to help us curve the wheel a little bit and shave off some of that suffering <laughs> so we can actually truly be in that peace and be in that unity consciousness because you and I, 
this human thing that we're doing, this is the multidimensional dance, right? Those celestial beings, they're stuck in one dimension. That's it. So from their higher dimensional perspective, they're seeing us in this lower dimension and they're like, whoa, what are these little kids doing? They're like playing around. They're messing up the earth. They're messing up all of these things. We got to go help them. <laughs> so that's what they're doing right now. They're guiding us. They're helping us getting out of, of all of that horrible things we've been doing, right? Politically, environmentally, you've seen this go down. Now, let me reassure all of you that this current narrative and the 3D matrix and all of this will not last forever. Again, these blue beings of light, these angels, these ascended masters, whatever label you want to put on this, okay? There is a higher consciousness beyond our human form, beyond our 3D world that is controlling the energy, that is manipulating the energy in a very positive way. Right? So, yes, you and your ego can tap into this. We can tap into this higher consciousness and be guided and as a collective ascend together, just like Yahshua and Jesus, Buddha, all of them wanted us to do. Right Now, the other option is to go into the matrix, to go back into the control, to go back into the idea that you are just this body and go back to your job and maybe, you know, have a kid, have a little dog and call yourself good, call it done go through samsara <laughs> the cycle of birth and death come back here as another human body and do it all over again right now in between that right in between those dances as a human form what we call reincarnation in between those incarnations right when your meat suit goes back into the earth <laughs> and becomes one with the earth the elements right what does your soul go you see it goes back into source energy right it goes back to where those blue beings of light live. That's where they live. You see, that's where they inhabit, right? They don't have the meat suit. They're not here on planet Earth doing the same thing you and I do. No, they are only in that space of light. They are celestial, right? So that's what you and I are at the core. However, currently we're just doing this meat dance. <laughs> it's kind of fun, right? <laughs> and we have a lot to learn about unconditional love and the beings of blue light, the Syrians, the Andromedans, all of these angels, all of these guides, okay? They're here to help us, right? So I just feel a strong urge to, you know, reclaim this power back, all the mystic traditions, all of the ancient languages, you see? Think about Egypt, think about Sumeria, think about all the traditions that have been played out on this planet, you see? This current thing we're doing right now with English, right? is happening for a reason now think about what we were doing before that or you know words like shanti peace sanskrit right these older forms of language that are more true to the original source right think about why we've evolved into this more idiocracy you know sim simplicity <laughs> type of thing right why are we de-evolving that way and going back to the darkness you see this is why the blue beings of light are stepping in They'll be like, nah, -uh, we want you to wake up. We want you to rise up. We want you guys to grow and expand your consciousness. So let's go this way. Let's go into sustainable living. Why don't you learn how to grow your own food? Why don't you learn what the earth can really provide? You don't need the chemicals. You don't need the warfare. You don't need the drugs. You don't need any of it. Everything you need is coming from within. And these blue beings of light, these masters of consciousness, right? These Palladians are here to teach us just that. Okay, so welcome this energy protect yourself from all evilness know that the light is expanding right here and you are being guided okay so this is happening for a reason okay so invite this energy and in, invite all of these peaceful beings into your life all right go deep into your meditation you see activate this higher consciousness and we will all ascend together all right until next time guys infinite love infinite peace i'm out <laughs>